Hi guys, and today I'm back with a different kind of video. Uh, the video is five things I would like to see in the railroad range. Number five, the British Railway Class 29. Yeah, I think that the British Railway Class 29 would make a great addition to the range. It would give them people that like to collect diesels and electrics a, a bit more of an option to pick from a Deltic or as a 33, I think. Um, so yeah, the 29 would be a great addition. Number four, um, a remake of the Triang um, Polys um, 040s and the Dock Hunters. Um, they're really nice locos, it's a shame Hornby got rid of them and got the new ones you have now. Um, but definitely the Dock Shunter and the Polys, I think they'll be great. Um, after all, the railroad is meant to be cheap and these don't really need cab detail or any detail really. They're just great little locos. So yeah, uh, the Polys and the uh, Triang Dock Shunters. Number three would be the Coronation class, class or the Duchess or the um, West Country and Bob class, Balleverin class basically. Um, from the early 2000s when they were loco driven and very basic um, it's actually if Hornby keeps um, their old tooling I don't know if to do that would be great especially to replace the Flying Scotsman or um, the A4s that they have because you know everyone's got one then by now it would be nice to show off some other streamlined locomotives for cheap, for, for, for cheap to help people you know get into it so yeah the Duchess class, the Coronation, and the uh, Battle of Britain or the West Country class. Two. Two would be, if it can happen, a cheap Thomas Tank range. Like I said before, after all, the railroad range is cheap, you know. And in my opinion, Thomas Tank does look cheap. I think it fit perfectly into the railroad range. Even if it's just a, a few trucks and coaches added to the range, um, even a duck or Percy added to um, the range itself, that would be a great addition um, and it might help kids um, go for more cheaper options than go for the more expensive ones. Yeah, well, number one would have to be. Um, the E2. Um, I, I really think Hornby should redo the E2 in the railroad range. It fits perfectly with the Jintis and any other um, 060s they do in that range. I don't know off the top of my head, but yeah. the E2, the Brighton South Coast Railway E2, is is, is missed by many modellers. It's well overdue um, for a retooling. Um, so yeah, the e E2 is my number one pick. So yeah guys, that was my five things I would like to see in the um, railroad range. Uh, please let me know what you think they should do with the railroad range, if anything. If they should take stuff out and add stuff. Um, we all have opinions and this is what makes the hobby really great. Um, so if you like the video, please give it a like and uh, please let me know what you think to my suggestions. Um, I don't think Hornby would watch this because I'm not... I'm not a big YouTuber like some, but they, they might, you never know, if someone shows them, they might watch it. Yeah, so that's my five things I'd like to see in the railroad range. Until next time guys, bye.